Hey, yo, what's up? I just wanted to share something with you real quick this morning. And I'm going to start the video by saying this. If this is one of those videos that you're hoping will make you feel good about yourself, this is one of those videos that you're hoping, oh, this guy's going to talk about God and tell me how, how great everything is and how wonderful everything is. You're watching the wrong video. Because I would be doing a disservice to you if all I did was make you feel good about yourself. If all I did was tell you you're going to be prosperous, you're going to be great, you're going to be mighty. If that's all I did and, and all I did was, 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 to, was to itch your ears, right, to make you feel good, I'd be doing you a disservice. Because what I should be doing and what more preachers need to be doing is preaching like this is the last time you'll ever have the opportunity to hear the word of God. I should be preaching to you like tomorrow you're going to, you're never going to wake up. I should be preaching to you like it is your funeral and they're about to close the casket on you and you're about to take your last breath right before they do. And I, and I should be presenting one more opportunity to you to tell you about God's love, about Jesus Christ and about the blood he shed on the cross of Calvary. I should be telling you that you are no good. You're a sinner. You are doomed for hell. You're not righteous. You're not worthy. And neither am I. All the same sins, all the same struggles, all the same strifes, everything that you go through and you deal with and you fight through, I deal with, I go through and I fight through the same things. I am no better than you. So let me start with that. Let me get, get that very clear. I am no better than you. Romans 3 tells us there is none righteous. No, not one. There is not a single one of us that is righteous and worthy of heaven, of the blood that was shed on Calvary to make us whole, not one. But what I am called to do is in Matthew 5, and that is to be the salt of the earth, that is to be the light, the city on a hill, the light on the candlestick, to, be, to, to let people see God through me so that they can glorify him. Not glorify me, I'm nothing. Once again, I want to stress that I am nothing. I am not worthy. I fail every day at being who I should be for God. I'm no more worthy than you. But what I should do is allow you to see God work in my life. Allow, allow you to see what God has done for me. Let me tell you what God has done for me. So that you can what? Glorify him. Because see, here's the thing. I care about you. Jesus cares more. Jesus went to the cross and shed his blood and died for you. For every sin that you'll ever commit, he did that for you. I could go and die on a cross right now and it's going to do absolutely nothing for you because I have sinned and I am far, far less than perfect. If I don't preach to you today and tell you what, what, what the Bible says, if I don't tell you how much God loves you, how much Jesus loves you, that he went and bore the sin and the shame for you, so that you can have an eternity with him, then I'm not doing my job. I'm not being the light that I'm supposed to be. So let me tell you right now, you're not worthy. You've got struggles in your life. You've got sins in your life. You have fallen well short, just as I have. But there is one, one way, one person that can make you whole. One person that can wash you clean, make you white as snow. One person who can give you an eternal future. One person who can, who can bring you through this life and set you in a higher plane. One person that can take you from walking the, the pothole-filled streets of this life to a street made of gold through a pearly gate and eternity in heaven with him. One person, and that's Jesus. He's the only one worthy. He's the only one able. He loves you. He died for you. And he wants you to come to him. All you have to do is just give up. And when I say give up, I'm not saying give up on life, give up living, give up doing what you're doing. No, what I'm saying is, is give up your selfish, your pride. Give up your, 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 your ability to do it on your own and say, God, I am nothing without you. I need you in my life. I need you to take control. I need you to turn this around because I can't do it on my own. That's what you have to do, and that's all you have to do, is accept him. Believe that he came. Believe that he is who he is. He came. He lived a perfect life. Believe that he died for you. He was buried, and he rose again three days. Believe that he is sitting at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for you, simply waiting for you 
to come to him and say, God, I need you. Jesus Christ, I believe what you did for me, and I want to live for you. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Is have faith in him. Believe with your whole heart that he is the son of God. That's it. It's that simple. And he did it all for you. To redeem the creation that let him down. To redeem the creation that fell short. That sinned. And that was doomed for hell. God sent his own son. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He did that for you. He could have just chalked it all up. It's done. It's gone. We're all going to spend an eternity in hell. But no. He did it for you. He sent his son to redeem this entire world because that's how much he loves you. That is how much God loves you. And I'm not doing my job if I don't tell you about it. So I hope you heard me this morning and I hope you understand. Once again, I am nothing. You are nothing. I'm not worthy. You're not worthy. Only one is and he died for us. He gave his life so that we may live. I love you. Believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God and believe that he died, buried, and rose again. Put your faith in him. It is by grace, through faith, not of works. There is nothing we can do to earn it. There is nothing we can say that makes us uh, better or more worthy. Absolutely nothing at all. The only thing is believing right here. Believe in your heart with your whole heart and you will be saved.